they're not happy. I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Perrault has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again, it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us praise Louis' gesture, anyway. You did what you could. Yes, it was very noble of you, Louis. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. I think everyone needs a little rest. You like to rest, don't Of course. Why are we suddenly picking reading now? Anyway, hello, welcome back to the council. I didn't have a chance to do an intro. This bird's dead. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Louis, I wanted to talk to you a moment about what has happened. All this is tragic, but I wanted to thank you for doing what you could. I wasn't able to save him. You couldn't, Louis. You mustn't blame yourself. It is not your fault. No, why is it his... Hmm. I don't know. Mm. Of course, but I thought I could help him. I guess it was too late. Don't torture yourself. Look what you've done. I admire what you did. Who else among all these great luminaries of the modern world even raised a finger? No one. You were the only one who tried to do anything. What a waste. What are your plans now? What do you mean? For the conference. After the disappearances of both Elizabeth Adams and my mother, and now the death of Mr. Perlou, I should imagine that your guests are all packing their bags. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, perhaps because it was so difficult to bring all these figures together, but I am convinced that none of them is preparing to leave. And you endorse that? For God's sake, that's totally immoral. Morality and politics don't go well together, my boy. Like water and oil, they cannot mix. By definition, politics is not immoral as much as it is amoral. It must not take into account any morality that would constitute a hindrance. Otherwise, it could not be free to make tough decisions. Do you realize what you just said? It's a question of duty, Louis. Look, morality evolves over time and differs depending on the habits and customs of each country. It must not be a criterion. What we are doing here, Louis, will change the very face of the world. I'm not saying it's easy, but it is our duty. The future is in motion, and nothing must stop it. If you say so, allow me to take my leave, please. Of course. You ought to get some rest. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. And you never know, right? Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. but. I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, rest assured, I am working on it. Very well, then. I'll see you later, my lord. We don't know, random thing here, we don't know who Louis's father is, do we? Possibly. Very possible. Hmm, don't know. Go back to your room. Right, last time when I went back to my room, I missed out an opportunity to search the place. So I'm gonna go and search the place. That's the plan. Um, right. Let's just start with each room and work our way around, I guess. I already mentioned it yesterday. I'd offer you or to someone else. Impossible to tell with you people. Yes, sir. Your yes is not sufficient. Tell the others for crying out loud. Remember to close my window once you've done my room. This isn't Corsica, you know. I'm freezing. Of course, sir. I'll see to you. Monsieur Bonaparte. 
Sorry, Dorishi. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. I beg your pardon? If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to oh, turn yeah. Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. There's a lot of tension. A lot of tension. Um. Oh. Oh. Sir Jacques Perru. I am sorry, sir, but you are unable to access Monsieur Perru's room while we gather his personal effects. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon was moaning about his window being open. Anything new in here? That door shut. Yeah, fine. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. See, searching the room is paying off. On to the next one. <laughs> I can't remember what the next room is. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. No answer. Nothing. How many more times can I... Mm. Emily? Emily, are you there? Emily! Yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I... I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? I, I can't move, game. Game. Okay, so she doesn't just hang on. Bonaparte said his window was open. There is something amiss. Where is Bonaparte? Is he with Emily? Hmm. That's why her window was open. I can't go through there. Yeah. That's why his window was open, I reckon. New on the table? My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. A bicorn decorated with a cockade that must belong to a French soldier. You ever went into that room? No. Okay. I reckon Bonaparte and her are having something. Whose room is this? Duke Manuel Godoy. Monsieur Dorichet, I have no time. I was about to join Sir Gregory. Come back later. Uh all right. I'll be off then. Thank you. Can I go back in the room? No, that that that, that room dead. Interesting. Let's just go back to your room, but no. Uh which room is this? Huh, that's me. Nope, let's not go in there. Monseigneur his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Nope. <coughs> No being that one. 
Oh, da kann ich mir das an. Yep. Is President? President George Washington. Oh, he's here. Your Eminence. Ah, Louis. You were admirable. You didn't manage to save Peru. But whatever you do, don't blame yourself. You did your best. I... Thank you, Your Eminence. <sighs> it's not going to help matters for Mortimer. Now he has one less vote for the conference. You don't seem too affected by it, though. Louis. I do not appreciate your remark, which I will put down to the indiscretions of youth. I am here in the interests of the Holy See. But I am above all a Christian, and it hurts me to see lost souls take a wrong turn. Of course, of course. But even with such a setback, I'd still be wary of Mortimer. I sense he has still a few surprises in store for us. Oh, I fully agree with you. I learned about your failure with Washington. I did my best. The president is a shrewd diplomat. It was perhaps too early to send you to the front line of the battle. Ma, don't blame yourself. Anyway, I am tired. If you don't mind, I shall retire to my bed. By all means, Your Eminence. Okay. The nose room is his. Uh oh. Anything new in here, I guess? Doesn't it pit? August 24th. No, <clears throat> doesn't appear to be anything new. We did find out who killed it, didn't we? My dear Elizabeth. Okay. The bodies are literally piling up in this game. <laughs> I believe we're back at the start. Hang on, can I go downstairs? No. Well, let's try it in the... Let's... Hang on, whose is that? Monsieur Johann von Wulner. Congratulations, Monsieur de Richet. You made the right decision at the conference. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you could spare me a moment. I'd like to speak about what happened to Monsieur Perru. And I, Monsieur, would rather not. Frankly, I believe that he more than deserved his fate. Don't expect me to feel sorry for him. You seem to have taken a personal stance. Am I wrong? Ever since I found out the traces incriminating him were found next to Elizabeth's body. You can be sure that given the opportunity, I would have put a bullet in his mouth myself. So I think that was him, though. I was wondering if you could spare me a moment. I'd like to speak about what happened to Monsieur Perru. And I, Monsieur, no, just would rather course. not. Okay. Frankly, I believe that he more than deserved his fate. Don't expect me to feel sorry for him. That it? Excuse me. Wrong room. I'm wondering what I missed out on the last time I saw when you get in my room and I didn't. Nope. Uh, there's no point going out to Morton's office, we were just there. Uh, there's something going on with. Pierre's room and Emily's room. So Jacques Perru? 
I am sorry, sir, but you are unable to access Monsieur Peru's room while we gather his personal effects. Okay, so there's no way of me getting in there. It's just to me, <clears throat> I need to get through this room. I'm convinced I need to go out onto that landing, whatever that wants to, whatever you want to call that. Can't go to there. I'm stuck. <laughs> the Battle of Alexander at Isis, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Let's try Emily's room one more time. Emily? Emily, are you there? Emily! Yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I... I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? Definitely, I'm stuck. Game. I'm assuming it will just... Yeah, it'll just be that again. Right, let's go to bed. Because I'm obviously getting nowhere. Uh, yeah. There's nowhere else I can go. Something cool. An old sesterce from Roman Gaul. Hang on a minute. Where where am I? Oh, I've gone I've literally gone past my room. Next time I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh shit, Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, the Duchess's room? This one. This one? Yeah, the Dutch room. I'm facing the wrong way. A mini map would not go amiss. It's the only complaint I have for this game. Although it would ruin this wonderful minimal aesthetic. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't open it. It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in, quick. Uh, go to Bonaparte's room, through his door. Bonaparte was mining about his door being, his outside door being open. I got this one now. Yep. I have to get inside Emily's room through the... Shit! It's locked. Five? Uh... Is 
there anything up here worth nicking while I'm here? as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened A letter to from me. William That's the Younger you know addressed to well. I'm not that naive. the present Prime I Minister of the United Two out. Coils Stop. Circle the Law. We'll end up losing everything if you keep on. Uh, she has a gun. And mother's what dead on, on the floor. Earth is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything oh. I've done for you. You are Wait. joking, I hope, right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... what? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You pretty little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. This is going quickly. Then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on then, shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way! I am not Emma! Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I- That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... Uh... Who was with us on the wharf? Cardinal Piaggi, who couldn't stop talking. Louis, I already told her about our arrival. I know, because I was there. The Cardinal went up. You felt poorly, Louis, and I offered you my handkerchief. I was there. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mormor welcomed us in a very odd way. What happened? It won't work, Louis. It wasn't Mortimer who welcomed us. It was Sir Gregory. Sorry, Louis. I already told her. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed. But I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. I'm just gonna keep bouncing back and forth between them. Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? No, not after going up to bed. That doesn't prove a thing. I was the one who told you that. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. Mm. I'll have to find something better. 
Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. How have Come they not on. got out of hand already? She's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? Uh... We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What did we find in that room? A load of old junk that Mortimer had collected. A so-called Pandora's box in the form of an urn. An old sheepskin that he must take for the Golden Fleece. The Bible of Judas. Property deeds as old as the hills. And a broken old sword. You are wasting your time, Louis. She already okay. knows all that. Of course I do. I was there. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis. There's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. I don't know which one I should be asking. When you came to my room last night, what did we talk about? I beg your pardon, but I didn't go into your room last night. There you are! The mask is off! What do you mean? Sorry, Emma. I didn't tell you everything. She's right. You little bitch. She is manipulating you, Louis. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. No, you don't, because there's... Because Bonaparte said that... Oh, I don't know. Bonaparte said someone come into her room. I generally don't know the answer to this. I don't have a coin, I don't have a mouse, a, m a mouse, a dice or anything in here. You I'm guessing are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? I've, I don't know. I've See mucked up again. See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go. Come, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. All happening very quickly. Emily. <laughs> Madam, I'm coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. I think I picked the wrong one. Good God. Um, I did not expect that to... I still don't get it, because... I thought we saw her get shot. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> We're off to the crypt, then. This one? No, the end one. What? 
How do I... That one. Let's get out of Bonaparte's room before he finds us. This, this story has so many twists and turns. Either I'm not seeing it, Good or they're God. really obvious. They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Go up to them, pretend we're on the outside of the door at all times. Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, you Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. So, I think everybody has killed someone at some point in this game now. I just killed someone. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hang on, what is it, what's the servant going to say? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. And you're going to see me go downstairs. It's fine, let's just go. It's still open, good. Louis! At last, there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, Time I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. Hmm. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I found you. I'm ready, Mother. If only... Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. She's gone mad. Many <laughs> years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Uh... <laughs> I, I want to say that one. Um... Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchert was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error. An error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis. Not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? I think she's mad. Mother, I shan't follow you down that path. I wouldn't be doing you any favors. Rational and open, Louis. 
Tell me then, how can anyone own properties all over the world for centuries, always having signed documents with the same signature? Well, I can find ten other explanations less eccentric than demonic possession, Mother. How come the Mortimers have had only one male heir for each generation since the Third Crusade? Forgery, family rights, where they get rid of the daughter. There are dozens of less extravagant possibilities. How could one man motivate so many future leading figures of the day on his silly island without anyone finding out about it? Even the Golden Order isn't capable of that. Well, he's simply better than us, and he's welcome to it. You refuse to open your eyes, Louis. You've lost your objectivity, Mother. I saw him! Wh what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him, or rather he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. Mortimer? You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He was already old in those days, wasn't he? So you recognized him when you arrived on the island, right? No, he wasn't in that body. But I know it was him. I swear it was him. The way he spoke, his posture, a few of his intonations, his mannerisms. Wait a minute, you were talking about 60 years ago. I I've lost the thread. Yes, sorry. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me and in the end he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. Uh... And you accepted. Please don't be stupid. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the Order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed? And that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later, for the moment, that is not the key issue here. Is Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchardt's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? 
Wait a minute. One last thing. What? That, that doesn't seem... Yeah, Elizabeth was the one that got killed. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis, but I had to try everything. Do you know who killed her? Absolutely not. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. No, I'm not wasting that. All right, but you're not getting away with it so lightly. Once we get back to Paris, be sure I won't be letting it go. We'll see in Paris, then. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Since when does the order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen, once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. So, this is like Devil's Island sort of thing. He keeps people here until they do what he wants. What did you negotiate about the al with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. I think that's... oh, others? Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. You know, I found your package under a wharf plank. As a matter of fact, I needed it yesterday. I wasn't expecting anyone to take it. Oh, she'd want it. <laughs> Samuel Ritter du Chois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. I really have he mucked this game up. He is not the one I was looking for. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. Okay, let, let's, let's go on, shall we? Shall we? Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He demands that the Spanish hand over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here. Okay, with an iris. And Latin. And a bunch of numbers. And blood. Face to face. Well, I think, um... I could have been a witness in the Napoleon Bonaparte Revolution. I could have learned something about... Okay. 
I'm not failing many, but I feel like I'm failing massively in the game. Anyway, I've been Wolfgrim, this has been the council. It's getting really interesting, which means it's probably getting close to the end. Um, so I need to find a new game to play once this one's done. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments down below or on my Twitter. Um, I shall see you all next time. Bye.